You're listening to Autumn on the Air, the weekly podcast that brings you conversations about the impact of research commercialization and the people who make it happen. Join us for interviews with patent and licensing professionals, innovators, entrepreneurs, and tech transfer leaders on the issues and trends that matter most. Keep listening for an inside track on the people, IP policies, and politics changing our world. In the industry of technology transfer, diverse perspectives from around the world help us understand how things work in other countries and also provide fresh ideas to explore in our own organizations. Joining us today is Rodrigo Del Canto, Director of the Technology Transfer, Ecanto UDD in Santiago, Chile. Rodrigo is a seasoned professional in technology transfer and innovation. With a background in law and public policy, Rodrigo contributes extensively to academia as a professor at the university. He is actively involved in institutional committees focusing on intellectual property, R&D commercialization, and entrepreneurship ecosystems. Welcome, Rodrigo. I'm so excited to have you here on the air. Thank you so much, Lisa, for inviting me to your show. I'm really happy of this opportunity to talk about Chile, the transfer ecosystem, and my experience as the head of the uh, a great team in the TTO of the University of Development. That's the English translation of my beloved institution names, Universidad del Desarrollo. Well, I'm very excited to have you here. And I do have to admit that Santiago, Chile is one of my most favorite places to visit. It's just a, a beautiful area and the country is beautiful. But let's get on to more serious things other than talking about uh, the beauty of Chile. Um, Rodrigo, to kick things off, can you tell me a little bit about Econo UDD? What sets it apart in the field? Okay, thanks. Thank you for your question. Econo UDD stands out in the field of technology transfer for its client focus approach and adaptability. Essential qualities for an administrative unit like us belonging to a relative young uh, private university like uh, Universidad del Desarrollo. Our differentiation lies in how we integrate innovation and entrepreneurship within the academic structure, within an, an, an ecosystem that fosters collaboration among students, professors, researchers, and the history industry in many levels. Tell us a little bit about how Econo UDDs contributed to promoting innovation and facilitating tech transfer in Chile. I would imagine you've got some initiatives or projects that you're particularly proud of that you'd like to share with us. Yeah, for sure. At uh, Econo DD, we have driven innovation and technology transfer in Chile through various initiatives, including mentorship programs for start startups, mostly formed by our alumni, uh, intellectual property licensing, and collaboration with companies to solve specific challenges. Answering your other question, a nice project that we are particularly proud from the university perspective is our collaboration with the government during the second term of our former president, Sebastián Piñera, who sadly and recently passed away in a helicopter accident. Um, and it was during the recent COVID-19 pandemic to which we provide information on population movements based in cell phone signs during quarantine periods to improve the Ministry of Health's decision making regarding confinement uh, measures. So, Rodrigo, you mentioned collaboration with the government, and I want to follow up on that and ask you, how does Econo UDD collaborate with local universities, research institutions, and industry partners to foster a vibrant innovation ecosystem? Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, question. Uh, our collaboration with uh, the government or national universities and industry partners is fundamental to fostering an innovation ecosystems that generates economic, educational, or environmental impact. Econo UDD act as a bridge between these actors, facilitating the exchange of knowledge and resources. In addition, 
Through funding programs for applied R&D projects and networking events, we promote inter- and transdisciplinary collaboration, ensuring that the innovations developed in our university are not only theoretically viable, but also applicable and relevant for the industry and society, closing this virtual circle of tech transfer. After, of course, struggling with the similar problem of all TTO in terms of faculty engagement with its activities. So, Rodrigo, one of the things a lot of tech transfers struggle with is measuring impact and success. That's that's always a challenge, yeah. the metrics associated with yeah. it. Tell us a little bit about how Econo UDD measures impact and success. Yes, great. At Econo, UDD, we measure the success and impact of our technology transfer efforts through a variety of KPIs, including among these the number of patents, fields, and granted, of course, the licenses signed, and the number of industry collaboration projects. But beyond these quantitative indicators, we also value the impact on our professors and students incorporating intellectual property and technology transfer topics into various undergraduate and postgraduate education programs. Personally, I'm deeply committed to make a change in our internal culture to promote apply R&D and technology transfer in all levels, from bottom to tops. So in addition to those programs, I would imagine that you also engage with international partners and collaborators to enhance some of your tech transfer activities. Talk to us a little bit about some of those initiatives. For sure. John Chile, Econo UDD, engage with international partners and collaborators to enrich its technology transfer activities. These global interactions allow us to learn best practices and access new knowledge networks. And lately, we have been promoting collaboration on joint applied R&D projects. Through relationships with international universities, such as UC Davis or Georgia Tech, what we seek is to expand our capabilities at the level of R&D teams and management staff to improve the service we provide to our faculty and researchers. So in addition to the uh, collaborations with Georgia Tech and UC Davis that you just mentioned, are there some other exciting collaborations or partners outside of Chile that you'd like to mention? And specifically, how have these collaborations benefited Econo UDD and its stakeholders? Well, although it's sometimes difficult and time consuming, consuming, sorry, to, to deepen collaboration ties at international level, especially coming from coming from Chile, we are in the bottom, sorry, yes. of, of the world. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, for several years, we have maintained a close collaboration with UC Davis and its international center established here in Chile. This uh, has allowed us to send several of our professors to California for internships with their counterpart in the respective faculties, for example, as well as our staff at the TTO and other collaborators to participate in training programs, for example, in, in entrepreneurship, technology transfer, or intellectual property, among other topics. And this is my focus, to build up our capabilities in scouting, technological development, managing, and licensing. And what technical areas are, are your researchers involved in when they go to, to UC Davis? Well, for example, we have, a, a, we have linked with the design school, architectural school, and engineer school at UC Davis campus. Oh, that's great. So, Rodrigo, with all your experience in tech transfer and all that you're doing down there with Econo UDD, what would you say are the key ingredients for successful international collaborations in the field of tech transfer? Well, in, in my opinion, those key ingredients include uh, having a shared vision and goals, mutual respect as well for cultural and scientific diversity, and effective, direct, and transparent communication between the parties. Additionally, it's crucial to have clear support structures for project management and intellectual property matters, uh, which ensures that all participants 
are aligned and committed to the project success, wherever or not the expected outcomes are ultimately produced. But the mere exercise of research in international collaboration insists, according to my experience and opinion, enrich and strengthens the capabilities of all actors involved. Now, going back to some of the technologies that you and your office are working on, do you see any particular trends or technologies on the horizon that you think are going to shape the future of tech transfer, both in Chile as well as worldwide? Well, uh, as we saw in the in the last autumn meeting in San Diego, emerging trends and technologies such as artificial intelligence, yes. biotechnology, and sustainability are shaping the future of our industry of technology transfer, both in Chile and globally as well. And these areas offer unprecedented opportunities to address global challenges from climate change to public health, for example, and, and require a multidisciplinary and collaborative approach for their effective development and implementation, as well as promoting inclusion and diversity of perspectives in approaching the complex problem of society and our environment. You know, there's so much, as you mentioned, Rodrigo, AI, biotech, green technologies, those are the hot areas right now. They're the future trends. How are you and your office adapting to embrace these future trends and innovations with respect to your approach to tech transfer? Well, it's a challenge um, <laughs> yeah. uh, to adapt. Yeah, to to adapt to these future trends and innovation at Econo UDD, we're expanding our capabilities in emerging fields through research and development promotion programs. This includes encouraging the formation of inter- and transdisciplinary teams and promoting a culture of innovation that invites collaboration with external partners, both public and private, from companies to startups, government institutions, and NGOs as well. Yeah, definitely a lot going on in that area for sure. And so, you know, lastly, I wanted to ask you, how do you envision the future role of Econo UDD in driving innovation in tech transfer, both within Chile and beyond? It's a broad question for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, we are really, we really aspire at Econo UDD to be recognized uh, uh, actor within the national technology transfer ecosystem for our passion for work you know, and our commitment to generating positive impact at the social, uh, economic, educational, or environmental level, and for closely collaborating with our professors and researchers who are committed to innovation, development, and progress to research applied to solving societal problems with both a local and global perspective. Yeah. Well, thank you, Rodrigo. That was great. And we really appreciate you taking the time to be with us on the podcast today and sharing with us all that Econo UDD is doing. So thank you very much. Again, thank you so much, Lisa, for inviting me. I really appreciate the, the, the time and opportunity to talk with the, uh, with the postcard follower. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you, Rodrigo, for your valuable insights and expertise. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for listening to Autumn on the Air with Lisa Mueller. Get social with us and share your thoughts. You can tweet us at AUTM or visit us online at AUTM.net. We'll be back next week on the air. Be sure to join us.